Hi, my name is Ryan Kochi and I'm the Senior RPAS Consultant at CR Kennedy here in Western Australia. And today I'm here to talk to you about the DJI M350 and its upgrades and new features over the DJI M300. We've been doing a lot of extensive testing with the M350 in both the survey and the inspection field. And today I want to talk to you why the M350 may be an essential upgrade to your RPAS fleet. The first new feature I'd like to talk about is a higher ingress protection rating on the DJI M350. Previously, the M300 had a rating of IP45. The new drone has an IP rating of 54. What does that mean for you? The new drone has higher protection against small dust particles and small dirt. So that means you're gonna get less dirt in your motors, less dirt in your internals, you're gonna have less maintenance and less downtime. The next feature I wanted to talk about was the Matrice M350's ability to pick up the frequencies L5 and B5. To your everyday operator, it doesn't sound like much, but as a surveyor, these extra frequencies are essential to model out multipath and ionospheric error. So what does that mean? That means I can be confident in the data capture from the drone and be confident in the deliverables that I'm giving the client. DJI's made some really small but intuitive design changes in the 350, which I really like. Number one, the drone now has an IP rating with the arms open. So you can set this drone up in the rain and be confident you're not going to damage your equipment. Number two, the locking sensor in the arm. This drone will no longer take off unless these arms are properly engaged and locked in. There's no more countless checking, no more coming back, did I lock the arms? This drone will not take off unless each arm is properly engaged. Number three, anyone who's operated an M300 close to sunset knows how hard it is to look through the FPV camera. The new starlight sensors in the M350 allow us to see clearer and sharper images while we're operating the unit. The next feature I'd really like to talk about is the new battery system with the M350. DJI's upgraded the TB60s to the TB65. This may not sound like much, but there are some major differences between these two little units. Number one, and my favorite, DJI's changed the life cycle of these batteries from 200 cycles to 400 cycles, literally halving your cost per flight. How have they halved the cycles? These new batteries have an integrated heating and cooling system, making your battery more efficient to charge and more efficient to operate off the go. But don't stress if you've already got a full set of TB60s. These batteries are cross compatible with the Matrice 350, and same goes as the 65s are cross compatible with the Matrice 300. And that goes the same for the battery station as well. On that same note about cross compatibility, all your payloads for the 300 are also compatible with the M350. It means you don't need to go out there and buy a new P1 for this new drone, you won't need to go out and buy a new LiDAR sensor. You can just integrate your current fleet of cameras with your new drone. Back to the battery management system. Here, we have DJI's new BS65. It takes eight TB60s or TB65s and four WB37s for your controller. There's a few big seat features with a 65 that I really like to talk about. Firstly, is your ability to charge your battery from 50, 90 to 100. Lithium batteries don't like to sit around all day at 100%. It lowers their life and costs you more money. The new battery station, you can put your batteries on 50% and leave them on 24-7. When you need to fly the next day, put it to 100. If you're not too sure, leave it at 90. Next feature, the added ability with a 65 watt USB-C charger here to charge your controllers. And this is my personal favorite. You can now upgrade your firmware from all your batteries directly from the battery station itself by connecting your controller to the USB maintenance port just here. For all our M300 users, you're familiar with the Enterprise controller. The 350 now comes with the RC+. The new controller gives us a larger screen, increased brightness, and a higher resolution. These are my favorite features of the RC Plus over the Enterprise controller. Firstly, it's so much more ergonomic to hold. Everything from your modes, to your gimbal adjustment, to the placement of your joysticks. As the new RC Plus has an IP rating of 54, meaning you can fly your drone in conditions that you're happy to stay out in whereas the previous controller has no IP rating at all. One completely new feature the RC Plus has is the ability to put a 4G dongle into the back of the unit. Previously, if you needed network connection to your controller, you would have had to hotspot. You now no longer have that issue. The new RC Plus comes with a larger screen with a higher resolution and a higher peak brightness, making it easier to use in daylight conditions. The new RC Plus comes with customizable buttons on the back and touchscreen buttons on the front. And if you're wearing gloves, you can operate these buttons along the side. As you can see, the Matrice 350 is a really exciting drone and an essential upgrade to your fleet. If you're interested in a purchase or a live demonstration or any information on all the payloads, you can contact us at CR Kennedy Geospatial.